So another Range Rover in for braking. This one's a P38. It's a 4.6 Thor engine uh, with a Vogue, a Vogue SE trim. And this one, as you can see, it's in really lovely condition. And anything you can see here, you can buy. Uh, so I'll just get in closer on some things for you. So starting at the front, got a few chips in the paint on the bonnet, but overall it's straight, no dents and rust. Moving down, uh, the headlight lenses have cracked, but we've got clear indicators and they make a really nice upgrade um, compared to the orange ones that a lot of the earlier P38s came with. We've got an A bar at the front with spotlights as well as a good condition front bumper, just a little bit of a scratch or a scuff there, just probably in a car park somewhere. The wing mirror on the driver's side, the casing's in good condition and if you wanted to purchase it, we'd test all the electrics as well, just make sure everything worked as it should. We've got 20 inch Range Rover, I believe they're 322 wheels, uh, Stormer alloys. Uh, with Cooper, let's see what the name is, Xeon LTZ tyres and plenty of meat on those all the way around. Um, they are a little bit curved as you can see there, um, but either you could refurbish them or if you've got some really bad alloys then these will look better. Doors as you can see are straight and they've got this little pinstripe on as well that I've not seen on too many of them, they are around. And the wheel at the back here, again a little bit curbed but nothing you couldn't get sorted. Coming round to the back, uh, the again clear indicators. Uh, this lens is a little bit cracked here just where we imagine a strap on the tailgate's snapped and taken it out. Um, but the upper edge, of, or sorry the lower edge of the top tailgate no corrosion except for just a little tiny bit starting on the bottom lip here but caught early that won't be an issue further down you can also see with a tow bar with electrics and the LPG filler point in the back bumper there as well as a twin exhaust so Tail lights this side, much better condition, no cracking, and a complimentary Nürburgring sticker. Wouldn't like to think what the time it was, did there. Passenger side, again, it's straight, there's a little bit of a scratch in the rear door, but I mean, I can hardly see it from here, let alone further away. The alloy here, again, same as the other side, it's pretty much the same condition all around for these, um, but still plenty of meat on the tyres as well. Passenger side wing mirror, the casing isn't much good at all. Um, but again, we'd test the electrics if you wanted them, see if they were okay. Uh, another quick thing just to mention is we've got the complete set of these Range Rover kick plates in, again, good condition all round. Um, they do pick up a bit of wear and tear over the years, but they polish up really nicely. Just a quick look under the bonnet then. As you can see, this is a Thor engine. Uh, the engine itself will be removing and adding to our core material to let it be used in an RPI engine and become one of our bespoke rebuilds. Aside from that, everything you can see is for sale. So I'll start here, we've got an ABS pump and the master cylinder and the fluid reservoir, uh, the header tank, fuse box for a Thor of course. The battery cover looks to be in good condition, it's sort of fairly scratched on the top but it is just surface uh, most of the P38s I've seen are missing these completely so it makes a nice little finish um, just to your engine bay. Got the fan shroud moving along as well as the power steering fluid reservoir and the air box and intake pipe as well as the air suspension pump um, which we can refurbish for you if you contact us for more details. The interior then is very good throughout as you can see it's a brown leather with cream piping and we do have the full interior including the carpets so if you fancy a change to yours something a bit different uh, this isn't a color I've actually seen too often on P38s and I think it looks pretty good
We have a full wooden centre console with the cubby box lid, switch panel surround and the gear stick and gator there as well as the steering wheel. Uh, the leather could use a bit of a clean up as a lot of them can but the wood isn't cracked or split anywhere. Binnacle also in good condition as well as the rest of the dash. The little wooden section just to the right hand side of the steering wheel has got a hole drilled in it for an LPG button, but if your car has LPG that's not an issue. Door card's also looking pretty good all round. Uh, this one could do with a little bit of a clean there. Uh, but they are fitted with the full Harman Kardon speaker system. And just to show you the back quickly, Again, nothing nasty there at all. Right, well we're in the workshop and in the air, so let's take a look underneath at some of the parts for sale under here. Starting at the front, we've got the front axle and steering box, you can see up there, all for sale. The airbags here, they don't look like they've been on the car for a very long time. Uh, they're not starting to perish at the bottom yet, so if you're converting co from coils back to air, these could be for you. Going a bit further back, we have a non-cat Y piece. Uh, it's just got two silencers in place of the cats there. We have the automatic gearbox and the transfer box for the viscous coupling. Uh, the viscous coupling may be available separately if you give us a call. And this looks like it could have been the cause of a bit of an exhaust rattle. We also have a, what we believe to be a Janspeed system, at least that's what it says on the tailpipes. Uh, the flanges aren't in very good condition, and one of the brackets has actually broken off. I don't know if you can see it just in here, I believe it's this one actually. Um, but possibly good for a repair. Drive shafts, rear and front, both available and an air reservoir for the air suspension. Again, if you're converting from coils back to air, then this is a necessary component. Further back, as I said before, the rear airbags look in pretty good condition. Not perished at the bottom as many of them are when they've been on for a little while. And the rear axle. On this car being a 4.6, it will be a 4-pin rear diff which is slightly stronger than the 2-pin fitted to the 4 litres and the diesels. So, if there's anything from this car that you've seen that you want, give us a call, uh, send us a message on Facebook or by email. I'll include the details at the end. And this is not the only P38 we have, we have other colours available. So, if, if yours isn't green, then we can still help.